Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. After my last video in which we talk about the AI upscaling process that I go through using the Topaz Video Enhance AI as well as using subtitle edit in order to make the standard definition subtitles look more HD, I did have a viewer comment asking about how we got the DVD episodes put onto our computer. So today I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that process. To do that, we're going to use Make MKV. So first we'll go ahead and open up a new browser. So we'll just do a search for Make MKV. And go here to MakeMKV.com. Now this is a free program. So we'll go ahead and click on Download Make MKV for Windows. And have this saved to our desktop. And then once that's installed, we'll go ahead and open up our Make MKV. As you can see, it did a scan to see if we have any disks in our optical drive. This computer does not actually have an optical drive installed on it, so it did not find anything. But what we would want to do is open up the .iso. So here's our ISO that I have. This is Subasa Reservoir Chronicles. This is the second disk of season one, so we'll go ahead and double click on that. Windows 10 will automatically mount the disk so it's creating in effect a virtual disk drive and so our virtual disk is in that virtual disk drive so now in make mkv we can go to file open files and we're actually going to go straight to our disk as you can see and here is our subasa reservoir chronicles and for this blu-ray we're going to need to go in and actually find index.bdmv and I'll also show this process on, on a DVD. It's, it's fairly similar, but a little bit different. So here's what we'll do for uh, on a Blu-ray disc. Goes ahead and opens that. It recognizes that it's not really an optical drive. Tells you it can't be accessed, but if we let this go. And then it scans those and we can see we have all the chapters here. So this is actually pretty interesting and I did mention this to the viewer last time uh, in response to his comment asking for this, but sometimes we do see that a show that is a series may actually have an option that is all of the chapters wrapped in one. So this is actually all, I believe, nine episodes in one big file. So if you want, you can download that or if you'd rather you can have it right to your computer and have them all separated like normal. So since having them all separated like normal is just going to result in them already being their own episodes, I'm going to not do that. Um, instead, we want to look at, actually, I think we can do a select all. Yeah. So we'll unselect all and then we'll just have our 73 chapter option selected. Now with that option selected, we'll go ahead and click on make MKV. First, if you want, you can select a different output folder. I think I will go ahead and change this and just have that go straight to our desktop. So we'll send that there and then hit make MKV. All right, so now we're going to take a look at how to do that with a DVD. So we'll just go ahead and double click this DVD. Again, that mounts the virtual disk to a virtual drive. And we can see here are the folders that you would find in that disk if you had the actual physical disk in an optical drive as well. So we have that opened here. So we would go back into our make MKV program. This has that old disk in there already, but we can do file and open files. And again, we would find that other disk, so Lavina again. And we would go into our video under TS folder, and we would use this .ifo file. So this is essentially the file that directs the program to all of the video files in the disk. So that decrypts the data, and we can see that there are three separate episodes on this disk. And as I alluded to earlier, at this step, you can actually decide which audio tracks or which subtitle tracks you'd like to keep. So we just open this arrow and it shows both audio tracks that are on this as well as both subtitle tracks. So for Love Hina, I absolutely despise English dub, so I would say get rid of that. And then for the two subtitle files, I'm actually not sure which one is the Japanese signs and which one is the Japanese dialogue in its entirety. So I'll keep both and I'll take a look at that later and, and I might elect to remove the signs subtitles track. But just like last time, you would then choose where you want to have that output, and then you'd click Make MKV. So this goes through the entirety of that file and converts that into an MKV file. 
It will maintain any of the audio tracks and subtitle tracks that you elect to keep. We'll let this go ahead and run its course and then we will um, get to our next step. Actually, while this is running, uh, I'll go ahead and point us towards our next program. So again, this is a program that I mentioned last time, but uh, for our use today, we're going to go ahead and navigate over to where we'll download our MKV Toolnix GUI. So that's that is MKV Toolnix downloads. Scroll down until you find your platform. For us, that's going to be our Windows 10 down here. And we will just select uh, for download from fosshub.com. And we'll choose our 64-bit Windows installer. Now, I already have this installed on my computer, so I'm going to go ahead and skip over doing that. Now, looking here, we can see that this is already finished. Um, and if we look at our desktop, we can see the file that we created is this right here, and that's 40 gigs. That makes sense because, like I said, it is essentially the entire disk worth of episodes just in one big file. So the way we will actually split this file up is, first, let's throw this into our MKV Toolnix GUI program. So I actually already have this up. Um, I was working on some more Slayers episodes the other night, but we'll go ahead and remove those files, and we will throw in our Subasa Season 1 Disk 2 file. So here we can see all of the normal things. We've got our video track, we have our two audio tracks, then we have our two subtitle tracks, and then our chapters. So this chapters is what's important here. So we're gonna be actually splitting this up. The way we do that is we go into our output tab, and then we have our splitting section. So by default, this is gonna be do not split, but we'll wanna choose our B4 chapters split mode. So I think I did this on a different series um, I was working on the other day. So this may not be the right numbers and certainly isn't enough for this disc, but it essentially works this way. So it's set at split mode before chapters. So before it hits chapter seven, it would split it. So you'll have the first video being chapters one through six, the second video being chapters seven through 12, then 13 through 18, 19 through, and so on. So we'll wanna double check on our Subasa. So we'll double click on this and then it opens up, we'll go ahead and pause that. And in VLC at least, we can see down here our chapter numbers. So this does take a little bit of, of guessing, kind of guess and check, especially if you're looking at the first disc on a series, because sometimes the very first episode might be a different number of chapters than the others. So there can be an, uh, an amount of trial and error when you're doing this. So we see that the first episode it looks like, so here we get back to the intro and that looks like chapter eight. So we'd probably have chapter eight be our first break. So chapter eight, then we'll look for the next area that looks the same, and it looks like chapter 16. So that makes, so chapter 16, that means it's, yeah, 16 there. So it looks like eight and 16, so for us, for now, it looks like that's just um, multiples of eight. So we would go back into our program, change these back out, so we'll have eight, and this is comma separated, so we do eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. And again, we do this until we hit the number of chapters. And actually, on most of these discs, at least for the Blu-rays, I wanna say for the DVDs as well, we're gonna to get to a point where we actually have one extra chapter left over, and that's generally a single image that shows the credits of the people who authored the disc. So uh, Funimation's team that, fun that authored that disc. So we'll leave it um, at that last number, that way it chops it off and you don't have an episode that ends with that. Um, so we'll continue doing this, then it would be uh, 56, 64, 72. So I believe that would be all of our episode. So then we'll go back into our input. So we'll go ahead and hit start multiplexing. And again, right now we're leaving everything intact. So I mean, for those of you who know you only want to watch the English, you can absolutely remove the Japanese audio and you can remove the subtitle track that includes the Japanese subtitles if you want. Um, or you could, you know, remove and change or add, you know, whichever tracks you want. 
uh, you would do that before you hit start multiplexing. So as this is going, we'll take a look at our desktop now. We can see that we've already begun creating these episodes. So in fact, let's change our view. If we have this viewing as, I believe we can do large icons, we can see the imagery of each video file. So we see that they're all off a little bit. They're different from each other. Generally, you'll see them the same because they'll start the same. Um, but we can see here, this is 24 minutes, 30 seconds. This is 25 minutes, two seconds. 25 minutes, two seconds, all right, this might be all right. 25, two, okay. Anyway, so basically you would just jump in and you can check, um, open up the episode and you'd see this is where it starts. And then you can see down here where it ends. So this one here, that's still part of the episode. And then here is the, I believe this is gonna be the ending theme on this end. Yeah, so I think we did actually do that a little bit off because generally you'll see the next episode preview um, tailing the ending theme. So the way we would change that is we would just go back into our program here. And if you wanted to cancel this, you could hit job output and then abort job. But since it's already almost done, there's not much use in doing that. We would just go back to our output and adjust those numbers in whatever way you would need to in order to make that work. So again, you can do that and then you just go back here. You can check the lengths of the episodes. You can just eyeball it based on the image that you see for each file. For this series, at least, we would be seeing the same image across the way here because they always start with the opening theme song. Anyway, yeah, so that was a look at how we both get the episodes off the disk onto our computer, as well as if we have an instance where we are ripping the entire disk and it's one video file, we also went over how we split that into these separate episodes. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.